Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Animated Wrestling League. Phoenix Rising, we are back, baby. And we are jumping right into the action tonight. Eight-man tag team tournament to crown new tag team champions. And we're starting off with the All-Americans. American Beetle and Hassan versus Team TNA, Curry Man, and Amazing Kong. Oh, wow, this is an eight-team single elimination match. This, is, this video will contain the preliminary round of that tournament. Currently in the ring and legal are Hassan and Curryman, the king of spice. He's hot, he's spicy, he tastes a great. And in comes Awesome Kong illegally. American Beetle in to make the block. And Amazing Kong, one of the newest uh, acquisitions to the AWL roster along with Curryman. Partners exiting the ring. And tag made, in comes Kong. And Hassan, knowing what's best for him, gets out of there and brings in American Beetle. Attempted a Hurricane Rana, attempted an American Conrana, taken to, and look at Amazing Kong just bending that man in half. If something tells me something she does quite frequently, this is going to be live commentary on this video. So if I screw up and sound like an idiot, then there's probably a pretty good reason. Mainly because I am. Each match in this tournament will have a five minute time limit, except for the finals, I believe, is how we're going to work this. Okay, here we go. Right hand. It's American Beetle and Kong are the legal fighters. And right now, American Beetle in the dominant position, working over the leg of Amazing Kong. She's still awesome, but we just can't call her that because of contract reasons. And a huge right hand floors the All-American Insect. And American Beetle, the hero of Kaiju Big Battle, in serious trouble here. But a uh, quick clothesline, quick running clothesline, takes down the Amazing One. So far, these teams seem fairly evenly matched. And wait a minute, Manhandler! That uh, Full Nelson suplex, known as the Manhandler, Full Nelson slam, and ooh, wishbone leg splitter! American Beetle deep into the red zone, that's very, very bad. Neither member of Team TNA has left the green. American Beetle's got to get out, it's got to make a tag to a son, he needs to get out of the ring. Uh, American Beetle being thrown around like a rag doll by Amazing Kong, and a tag is made. In comes Hassan. We're about at the halfway portion of this match. There's going to be four matches on this one video. Yeah, we're making judicious use of the editing machine. Manhandler again. American Beetle not the legal man, thankfully, and Amazing Kong realizes that and goes after Hassan. Two-handed choke. This woman not exactly full of style, but oh crap. Oh, that will shatter your clavicle. Amazing Kong going to the top rope and a double A spine buster. Looks like uh, Curryman coming in to get some pickings of the scraps. And wait a minute, float over suplex. Yeah, fortunately for Hassan, Curryman not the legal fighter. You look, you have to look past. When it comes to Curryman, you have to look past the costume. You have to look past the silly dancing and the horrible Japanese, and just remember that that guy is an extremely talented professional wrestler. Reverse Tiger Suplex from the immigrant to the United States, Hassan, Iraqi-born American. And the Iraqi born American. Wait a minute, rolling American suplexes on Amazing Kong takes her into the yellow. But Curryman, a tag was made. Curryman, the legal fighter in the green zone. And current, right now it's currently Curry and Hassan. Hassan basically at this point has nobody to tag. Spine Buster. This is the first of four. Wait a minute. Float over suplex again. Cover for the one, two. Never mind. Ha! Drop toe hold. Smart by Hassan. Get Curry Man off his feet. And again, this time a standard vertical suplex. And Curry goes for the cover. Ichi. Neat. Sang time to three. Here are your winners. Team TNA. Okay, next match. It's the Technicos versus the Metallics. All right, this is going to be the pattern of this tournament. One established tag team versus one new tag team. And right now we have the Technicos. The Technical Wizard, Lee Masters, the Penultimate Fighter, the MMA Specialist, and Sammy Nix, the Master of the Suplex, going up against Metal Keen and Metal Geen. Gold and Silver, two American brothers. I believe they're American, trying to... I uh, know they're Gaijin, at least, trying to make a mark here in Japanese independent professional wrestling, specifically here in the Animated Wrestling League. And you look at Keen and Gein, you can tell they're definitely powerhouses. Belly to belly, overhead release suplex from the master. Sammy Nixon knows every iteration of the suplex ever invented. 
And okay, here come the Metallics. Let's see what these new guys have. This is their AWL debut match. This is their opportunity to make an impact. No pun intended. Actually, pun definitely intended. That show's a joke now. Kick to the midsection. Silver. Metal Gein, the Silver Sentinel, I'm told he's called. In the ring now with Sammy Nix. Of course, five minute time limit in the bout. Already Team TNA, Curryman, and Amazing Kong, Kong making her AWL debut tonight, have advanced in the tournament. They will face, I believe the brackets are going to be pretty standard, so they will face the winners of this match, which means Team TNA is going to be in the back, they're going to be watching this on our closed circuit monitors, they're going to be very interested in this, and wait a minute, eight! Ah, a bit, a bit of showboating by Metal Keen. May the Golden Man have a bit of an ego? That could be an interesting character trait. Right now, legal fighters are the penultimate fighter, Lee Masters, and Metal Geen. Geen, of course, in Japanese means silver. Keen, with a K, means gold. And you can tell which is which, unless you're completely colorblind, in which case you're pretty much out of luck here. Three minutes remain in the match. Drop toe hold. The penultimate fighter is in trouble here. He's got to... Try to take advantage of his mixed martial arts training. Go for a joint lock. Ground and pound. Take advantage of this. Do not let the Metallics use the power game. And I think that's exactly what's happening here. Hook up. Double team maneuver. Hanging vertical suplex. Lee Masters is screwed. And Sammy Nix also in the red zone. It's all men red for the Technicos. I don't know how they're going to pull themselves out of this one. And wait a minute. Yes, we had to make an edit there. We had a judge's decision... Yeah, the match, that was the highlight. This is only a highlight reel. That match went to a decision. The Metallics win. It was the it will be the Metallics and Team TNA in the semifinals. So far, the new tag teams have eliminated the old pretty much mm, two to nil right now. Okay, we've got the Pro Sentai Rush Ranger, Sentai 1 Red, Sentai 3 Blue, up against Black Tiger and Kage Senshu. According to the notes I've been handed here, they wish to be called... The Forerunners. Black Tiger and Kage Senshu, the Forerunners. Forerunners of what? I don't know. Okay, five minute time limit again. I apologize for uh, the brief ending, the very quick ending to that match between the Metallics and the Technicos, the Metallics victorious. Um, basically, we've got to get this under 15 minutes, get four matches in. It's uh, something's gonna have to be cut. Sorry about that. Basically, it was a back and forth match. Um, wound up going to a judge's decision after the five minute time limit expired, and the Metallics won the decision. I apologize for the lack of music right now, but we just don't have the time for the entrances. All right, nice kick to the midsection, and right now it is the traitor, Black Tiger. Going up against the brains of the outfit, Sentai 3 Blue, the technician of the Pearl Sentai, and the leader of the team, Sentai 1 Red, also in this tournament. Sentai 2 Yellow, the reigning light heavyweight champion, will defend his title right here tonight against Bruce Hoyt, the box ambassador, the man fighting down a weight class. And we'll get we'll get onto that a little bit later. The last time we of the AWL saw Black Tiger and Kaga Senshu. They were beating the High Holy Hell out of Tiger Mask. I should say, you saw it if you watched uh, Oban Nanza, that sneak attack, and I don't know what happened, but somehow Black Tiger and Kaga Senshu messed with our video feed. I didn't actually see what happened. I was told later, it did. wait a minute, Black Tiger Bomb! Or a Black Tiger Driver would actually be a better description for that. Black Tiger Driver on the leader of the Pearl Sentai Resurrenja. And wait a minute, again, going for the double team. We've seen so far in this tournament that whoever hits the first double team move usually winds up winning the match. Uh, another irritating jump cut. Nice gut buster by Kagesenshu, the shadow wrestler. We know virtually nothing about this man. We don't even know what this guy is. When I mean, you look at him, you can barely see him. He's, he's like he's, he's half there, he's half not. 90 seconds on the clock. And, oh man... Honestly, I just hope this record happens. I've never actually done uh, the sort of recording commentary in the video editor before. Hopefully it'll work out. Nice full Nelson. Sentai 3 in a bit of trouble. It's everybody in the yellow zone right now. This might go to yet another judge's decision. We'll find out 
Let me get closer. Wait a minute. Double team. Vertical suplex. Crashing down to the mat. And Sentai 3 Blue is in serious, serious doo-doo here. Did I say doo-doo? Ugh. It's been a long week, okay? And yes, I know it's only Monday when I'm recording this, but it's still been a long week. Nice spine buster by Kagasenshu. Cover. Can Sentai 1 break it up? One. Yes, he can. Only a one count. 45 seconds. Less than a minute left in the match. Is probably going to a decision. Ooh, nice military press slam. And in comes the fresh man. That tag guaranteeing we're not going to see a clean finish here. Sorry about that. 30 seconds to go. I honestly don't remember if I made another cut in this. All right, here we go. Sentai 1 Red in there with Kage Senchu as legal fighters. Sentai 3 making full use of the five... Second ref or the five count from the referee, and out she goes. Cut Black Tiger in. He only having a one count built up. Ten seconds to go. It's down to Sentai One Red and Kage Senshu. Can Sentai One Red do enough damage to his opponent to pull off the victory here? I don't think so. This may be too little, too late. Judges, who's going to win this? Decision, please. Here we are, winners. The forerunners. Okay, final match. The Wild Pack versus Team Light Heavyweight. Wolf and the returning Bubba Reese. We have not seen Bubba Reese in the AWL for a number of months. For those of you who don't remember or don't know who, who Bubba Reese is, he is the hardcore throwback. He is the 1990s garbage wrestler. And currently he and the unpredictable werewolf, the un unpredictable lichen throat from Transylvania, Wolf, are going up against two of the best light heavyweights, representing the light heavyweight division. Two of the best uh, sm uh, smaller wrestlers, uh, light heavyweight athletes in the AWL, The Stig and Rick Flair. Check the spelling, R-I-C-K, Rick, F-L-A-R-E, Flair. Not copyright infringement. Anyway, Rick Flair in the ring right now with the wild card, Bubba Reese. Yeah, the, the wrestler's wrestler versus the garbage wrestler. And in comes The Stig. Some say The Stig has never been seen in the same place at the same time as Chuck Norris. And that he is currently planning the murder of Rubens Barrichello. All we know is he's called the Stig. And anyone who does, who isn't cool enough to know the BBC Two program Top Gear, you're not going to get that. So just uh, Google the Stig. Look the Stig up on YouTube. Okay, Bubba Reese in trouble now against the wrestler's wrestler, the dirtiest player in the video game, Ric Flair. Drop kick. And a tag made to the wild man, the unpredict the ever unpredictable wolf. Okay, is it just me or does the wild pack not know where, where to buy wrestling tights? Seriously, they're both they're both wrestling in boots, sneakers, and really bad blue jeans. And wait a minute oh god, I hate this move. Ugh, the octopus hold by wolf. It's a human body is not meant to bend like that. It's it's not natural. And wait a minute, a sleeper hold on the outside by Bubba Reese to Ric Flair, that's not legal. But what the hell? He he's he's hardcore. He he doesn't care about the rules. Neither of these guys do. All right. Already three teams have advanced to the semifinals. Pile driver, pile driver by Bubba Reese. He likes to aim for the head, the neck, the shoulders, that area of the body. He likes to try to injure his opponent, which frankly I don't agree with. Three teams already have advanced. Team TNA, the Metallics, the Forerunners, and one of these two teams will join them. Semi-finals coming up later in this show. Later on Phoenix Rising. And to go behind into a neckbreaker on the stake. And wait a minute, body slam. Wolf in control at the moment. Kick to the midsection. Belly belly overhead and the stig is all the way out of the ring. And wait a minute. Bubba, uh, Wolf, for, for no real reason, going out of the ring himself. I don't get this. The Stig saying, okay, you want to fight on the outside? We'll fight on the outside. Remember, there's a referee's 10 count in effect. You can see the clock at the top of the screen, that 8. That number 8, now the number 7. If that gets down to 0, somebody's getting counted out here. All right, Wolf in... Uh, Bubba Re Wait a minute, what the hell is Ric Flair doing? Ric Flair just standing on the ropes. He's not doing anything. And the Stig's in the red zone. The Stig's getting the hell beaten out of him by both members of the Wild Pack, and Wolf in, Wolf may beat the count, but... Rick... Flair, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Rick? Here are your winners, by count out, the Wild Pack. Uh, read the screen, stay tuned for the semifinals, AWL 